So in this video, I want to talk to you about how to come up with blog post ideas using artificial intelligence, using chat GPT. And that's what we're going to go over in this video. I'm also going to show you some specific uh, inputs, some specific prompts that I've noticed help me a lot and how you can come up with even other keyword ideas that might help you get out of a funk. Maybe you're trying to write and you just can't think of ideas. This will help you. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's go over to ChatGPT. So first thing we're gonna do is tell Chat ChatGPT about our blog, about what we really write about, our, our niche, our industry. So I'm gonna use the example I always use, which is skincare products, anti-aging skincare products. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that I have a blog related to anti-aging skincare, anti-aging skincare. Now I'm gonna just tell it, hey, to give me some blog post ideas. Give me uh, 10 blog post ideas that I can write about. All right, and then it's gonna go on. It's gonna talk, it's gonna give really quick, really great ideas. And, you know, to me, I think this is one of the quickest ways. Now, even if you don't use all the these ideas or if you don't use them word for word, it can still be a source of inspiration, in my opinion, that you can just look at these and uh, and go from there, all right? So number one, 10 anti-aging ingredients to look for in skincare products, right? Number two, the, the ultimate skincare routine for fighting signs of aging. Number three, the importance of sunscreen in anti-aging skincare. Number four, five anti-aging remedies for youthful skin. Number five, uh, the do's and don'ts of anti-aging skincare. You get the idea. So now we can also change the tone a little bit. Do we want to change the tone to witty? Do we want to have a more serious tone? All right. I also like to use the uh, tell chat GPT for blog posts ideas. I like to tell it to use it in a BuzzFeed style uh, title. Now, I know BuzzFeed definitely has a lot of clickbaity titles. However, uh, it can still give you really, really good, uh, really good outputs to see, uh, to get inspiration from. All right, so give me five more in the, in a BuzzFeed style title. All right, so number one, five anti-aging products that actually work and won't break the bank. Beautiful. Seven celebrity anti-aging skincare secrets you need to know. Number three, the one anti-aging skincare step that you're probably skipping, but you shouldn't. Number four, the ultimate guide to anti-aging facial massages and how to do that at home. Number 10, uh, anti or number five, 10 anti-aging skincare myths debunked by dermatologists. Now, yes, those do sound a little bit more clickbaity, definitely, but as long as you are giving the proper content in those, uh, in those articles, you're gonna be just fine. No one's gonna complain about it or care about it, but they are definitely uh, definitely click worthy in my opinion. Now, let's say that you are uh, trying to even come up with keyword ideas, right? Maybe you don't wanna to try to rank for anti-aging. That is going to be a nearly impossible keyword to rank for on Google. You're gonna to want to find keywords that are definitely have lower competition. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to give me 10 long tail keywords related to anti-aging skincare, all right? We want long tail keywords. We don't want these main keywords, these seed keywords like anti-aging that, that probably WebMD already has or uh, any of these other huge medical websites, right? We want to rank for, for keywords that maybe a lot of these other big big sites don't even care about. All right, so number one, best anti-aging skincare routine for sensitive skin, all right? Anti-aging skincare for sensitive skin, perfect. And again, you can go based off of these. You can tell, tell ChatGPT, give me 10 article ideas, 10 BuzzFeed article ideas around anti-aging skincare routine for sensitive skin, all right? Number two, organic anti-aging skincare products for mature skin. All right, number three, how to reduce wrinkles and fine line with anti-aging skincare. That probably not so much. Uh, number four, anti-aging skincare for acne prone skin, tips and products. 
Number five, the role of retinol in anti-aging skincare. That's probably pretty competitive, I would assume. Hyaluric acid and its benefits to anti-aging skincare. That's probably pretty competitive. Uh, vitamin C serums and their effectiveness. All right, but you get the idea. You can come up, you could write, give me a hundred long tail keywords related to anti-aging or anti-aging skincare and go from there. You don't need every single one to pick from, but you can you know, pick one of these. I think uh, anti-aging skincare routine for sensitive skin is probably pretty good. It's probably a lot less competitive than let's say ranking for retinol, uh, anti-aging retinol. All right, so write five buzz feed style titles related to to anti-aging skincare routine for sensitive skin related to and see what comes up all right and again you can do this for any of the keywords that you come up with any of the long tail keywords and go from there this is going to help inspire you uh, and again you don't need to use these titles word for word but it can help to serve as uh, just giving you that nudge to uh, uh, if you're facing a writer's block or some kind of block in general, it's going to help to uh, to help with that. All right, number number one, ten anti-aging skincare products that won't irritate sensitive skin. Perfect. Number two, the ultimate anti-aging skincare routine for sensitive skin types. Number three, five anti-aging remedies for sensitive skin you need to try. Number four, the do's and don'ts of anti-aging skincare for sensitive skin. Number uh, number five, the anti-aging skincare ingredients for sensitive skin or the best anti-aging ingredients and how to use them. All right. So you, you get the idea. You just plug in what your niche is, what your industry is, and you go from there. Now you can use this for any kind of industry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're selling physical products. It doesn't matter if you're selling digital products. It doesn't matter if you just have a blog and you're just selling advertising. Whatever the case may be, you can use this. Just plug in your, your niche, your industry, and go from there. All right. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you found it informative. You enjoyed it. If you did, you're going to like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.